welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we are gonna attempt to pop the head off my used Cat C13 I got. You know, in the last video, we popped the covers off, we kind of looked in the hole, so now it's like, let's take the broken stuff off. Or, let, well, <laughs> there's, okay, we gotta take the broken stuff off, but we're also gonna kind of strip it down, see if we can get the head off, so. Um, oh, and Dad stopped by too, so, hi, Dad. Hello. So, Dad's gonna give us a hand. Well, or he's gonna supervise one or the other. <laughs> yes, they do. Come apart quick. Getting it back together, that's gonna be the... But, hey, Rome wasn't built today. It's not a race. Although, I would like to get that truck back together. So with that regard, it is kind of...
we're making progress. <sighs> it's actually coming apart easier than I thought. Um, like exhaust manifold bolts, I didn't think those would come out because I've never done this before, but uh, managed to get them all out. Three studs stayed in. Not sure what that means. Um, just about ready to pull the head off. And uh, yeah, it looks like an engine. That's my expert deduction for the day. Just gonna pull the starter off. Um, I'm gonna pull the power steering pump off too because it's broken. You can see it's broken right there. There's a lot of stuff that got bring, bringed, broken. Which makes me wonder if this thing was in a truck that was in a wreck. I don't know. I don't know. You never know. Um, don't much matter. Yeah, like that said, it doesn't matter. I don't know that I entirely believe everything people say, but anyways, it's an engine. Well, this hand cleaner wipe was worth its cost. Look at how dirty it is. These hand cleaner wipes work fantastic. They're, uh, they're TRP, so don't hate me. <laughs> kind of rhymes, eh? They're TRP, so don't hate me. But they work! And they're handier than heck. So I don't have a sink out here. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I don't have a sink. Have or a washroom. I got a hose. Hose is outside at the moment. Make sure you keep an eye on those front tires too because they are ready to actually lift it off. Might have to move that stuff to get close enough with the tractor. Well, that's where in a lot of ways I should almost be coming in. Well, if I need to get right close to the forks. Well, like I thought we'd just come in this way. So, on this side, we can come around. Actually, what you could do is take and put the chain in that bolt. That's the block. Oh. Well, you could put it in there. <laughs> I just put them back in with this stuff.
You looking for a pry bar? Yeah. Here, head bolts too. They almost look like it. You know these? Oh. I don't know say they are. Yep. Missed those. Okay. I don't see anything. Give her a whirl again. Might as well. Can't be any worse than that one. All right, guys. I'm an idiot. There was two bolts in the center part that we had missed. And uh, anyways, the fella got the engine figured number four, 
the tip was rusty. So we got one, two, three, four. That's definitely rusty. The nice thing is it's at the top. Um, but that one's rusty too, and it's been turned over. So I would say this is done. Yeah, we feel there. Oh, yeah. So it is a block. It's a block. Well, it just turned over for the heck of it. And what's the head look like? It was these two bolts here that we missed. Yeah. Hopefully I didn't do any damage, but it is what it is, I suppose. Uh, doesn't look terrible. But let's face it, I don't really know what I'm looking at. That one's... These ones where it was rusty. Rusty, boys! Oh. Ah. So there you go. We got the head off. Now what? Um, see, to turn it over, really, I need the... There's a tool. I mean, probably putting a wrench on one of... Is there a socket right in the center? No. Oh, uh, bolt's coming undone. Well, and I think there's a, a tool for the flywheel to... to uh, turn it over. I should vacuum this out. It don't matter. It's screwed anyways. Yeah, I think there was, I think there was rust in all these holes and they just turned it over. Like that's the cleanest one. But, uh, alrighty. Next, how to pull the rest of it apart? I don't know. Pull the pan off. I don't know. Well, we turned it over. <laughs> uh, to see how good it was. Check this out. Probably can't see it. Oh, okay, let, let me get a light. Where did I put my lights? I left them up here. There we go. Let's get a light. Okay, we've got cylinder number one, some debris. Cylinder number two, some fuel. Cylinder number three. I don't know if I said three already, but corrosion, rustiness. Cylinder number five, more corrosion. Cylinder number six, more corrosion. Cylinder number four. Oh, that's not supposed to be there. That explains why it was tough. So, uh, yeah, I would say it was rusted, they turned it over, and it broke. So this is just a block, and as it is, we're gonna have to get the block checked out because there's the liner's broken. So, <laughs> just, some days a guy would like to catch a break. Mind you, for what I paid for this engine, I paid $1,200 Canadian for it, so um, if all it does is make a core, it's a win, and, uh, you know, here's a thought. If, like, I think our cost on a rebuild kit is like $9,800 or something like that. Our cost on a short block is $17,900, I think. So, and if I can get it at cost, does a guy spend, call it 18 grand to get your block with all your stuff put in it already, and then you need your head, or do I buy a rebuild kit for 10 grand and rebuild it? I just have to send the head out to get checked out, so. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Bleep bloop the comments down below what you think I should do. Or should I just get a reman altogether? I think I'm gonna have to uh, get some of our number one numero uno engine guys at work 
and seek their advice because trying to do it on a budget, but it's quickly looking like that budget is getting blown out of the water. So, <sighs> but hey, once the engine's done, Duke is going to be a great truck. It 2006. Will no be kaboom. It'll no longer be kaboom. It's 2006, 350,000 K, heavy spec. C13 isn't as popular as a C15, but it'll be fine. I think. <laughs> All right. It's time to clean up this mess and go wash cars because it's supposed to be nice this week and we need clean cars. So anyways, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.